everyone. My name is Amir Ahmed. I'm a principal product manager at Nutanix. And in, th in this video, I'm going to do a demo of Nutanix clusters on AWS. And to make this even more interesting, I'm going to do this demo on my HoloLens 2 headset. HoloLens 2 is an augmented reality headset. If you want to learn more about HoloLens or augmented reality, check out my website, supertechcamp.com. If you want to learn more about Nutanix clusters on AWS, make sure to check out the Nutanix website. You can also check out some of the blogs on my personal website, homerahmed.com. With that, let's go ahead and get started. Again, I'm using augmented reality with HoloLens. I have three browsers floating in front of me. On the left here, I have my AWS console. In the center here, I have mynutanix.com, which is where you actually go to access the Nutanix clusters on AWS portal. I'm just going to scroll up here using my HoloLens 2 hand gestures and under Nutanix clusters I just click launch. Once you do that it opens up the portal and once you ac access to the portal you can see the first thing you have to do is create an organization. So you can see here I've already created an organization called Homer's Org. Uh, here you can see the Homer's Org organization I created. You can see I'm you know this uh, I'm running a trial here. So you can come here now and click cloud accounts and here you'll see I already have a cloud account link. I have an AWS account link. Once you have a cloud account link, you can go to clusters and you can deploy Nutanix clusters in the cloud, in this case AWS. So here you can click the create cluster link here to get started. You can see I've already deployed a cluster. And since this is a test environment, I, I'm just running one node, but in production environment, you'd be running minimum of three nodes. Now, the cool thing here is once you deploy this, it deploys these bare metal hosts directly into your AWS account. You can deploy within an existing VPC or a new VPC. And the cool thing about that is you can leverage all the AWS constructs, tools that you're already using, and you can even leverage some of the existing configurations possibly. Here you can see the instance type. So when you deploy Nutanix clusters, uh, you have the option to select different instance types based on your requirements. So I'm going to jump back to the portal here. I'm going to go ahead and click into my cluster. And here you'll see quite a bit of AWS information. I'm just going to click go to Prism Element link. And that's going to open up my Prism Element where I can do additional management activities. So here now, you can see here's a Prism Central link. So if you have Prism Central already running on-prem or in another cloud environment, you can register this Prism element with that Prism Central and get the single pane of uh, management, single pane of glass. Uh, Prism element is great if you want to just get started, start deploying workloads, you want to manage a single cluster. Prism Central is very uh, good if you have the requirement of managing multiple clusters uh, and you want that single pane of glass or let's say you want a hybrid cloud deployment where you want to manage from one pane your clusters on-prem and in the cloud that's when you would use Prism Central. I'm just going to go ahead and use Prism Element here. I'm going to go to home. I'm going to go to my VM and here you can see I already have a VM deployed and running. Now if I go up to network configuration You can see if I go into network configuration, I already created a network called test and I gave it the subnet. I can create additional networks if I want. I'm just going to X out of here, go back to my, my VM list. And you can see here's my VM. Let me just make this a little bit bigger so it's easier to see. Okay, so I'm going to select this VM and then I'm going to come down here and click launch console. That's going to launch the console. I already have it open in another tab here just to save time. And here you can see I have the terminal open. And here I have my Bluetooth keyboard connected as well. So I'm just going to do a simple test. Again, I didn't do anything here because I've just launched the VM. DNS and everything is configured already. So you can see everything is working. So this shows you, you know, a quick example of how you can access and use Nutanix clusters on AWS. I hope this has been useful for you.